Hi there, Ted from Marketing for Hippies. I'm in Totnes. Just arrived tonight and uh, heading off to a restaurant to get some soup. So I've done a few of these videos on confidence. And my last one, I, I pointed out that uh, people don't buy from you because you believe in yourself. They buy from you because they believe in you. They don't buy from you because you feel confident in you, but because they feel confident in you. Which of course lifts up the big question is, what is it that would have people feel confident with you? Um, but it's good to take that out of the hypothetical of what um, would have people, you know, hypothetically have confidence in you. And better to ask the question, what is it that's had, um, you know, uh, you have confidence in people? Find a rest spot here. Uh, no. <laughs> you know, what's, what is it that's helped uh, you feel confident in other people? So if you think about places you've spent money, and maybe a significant sum of money where there was some risk, that means you felt confident. So why? You know, and my guess is, they probably had a good reputation. They've been around a while. The word of mouth about them was good. There were probably lots of ways to check them out online. Videos, articles, um, uh, you know, audio that you could listen to. Uh, maybe you've gone to uh, a workshop of theirs. You've gotten to meet them in person and you felt comfortable with them. Uh, testimonials, case studies, etc., etc., etc. So... This is more the type of thing to be thinking about than our own personal therapy. I'm not saying walk around being a basket case, of course. I'm not saying that our neuroses have no consequence because, of course, vibe is actually a very big thing. I, you know, one of the ebooks I may still write is uh, the working title is Vibe, the Hidden Mechanics of Why People Buy. So, vibe, I, I get it, it's a big deal. It's just that you can. There's a difference between having a sketchy vibe that's needy and desperate and leaning on people. Of course, we don't want that. Um, so I suppose if your lack of confidence could be repulsive in that way, sure. But now am I lost again? I think I know where I'm going. Uh, I, okay. Uh, but the main thing <clears throat> is to stop obsessing with uh, do we feel, you know, I don't know, fundamentally worthy as a human being? And uh, do we feel confident in ourselves? And more, what is it that would have them feel confident in us and our work? And again, it's not a hypothetical thing. You already know the answer to this because you've already done this. You've already spent time and money and taken risks where, you know, it would have been easy not to. And why? Because you had enough confidence in them and what they were selling you know who they were so it's good to think about those things can our own self-work and therapy play into this of course that's just not the primary thing i just see that being the whole thing that's the you know that's the hammer and everything turns into a nail and it's just one part of the a bigger picture so that's my thought hope it's helpful i'm about to get some soup